and welcome back to Team Fortress 2, playing a bit of Vanguard this week. One of the brand new maps that came out last week with the uh, Tough Break update. I've got a pyro contract to get some crit kills and mini crit kills, which is why I am using my festive back burner and my festive uh, flare gun, because, yeah, it is Christmas time. It is Tuesday, the 22nd, the day I'm recording this, and if I get it done right and get it uploaded, this episode should be coming out tomorrow, which is Wednesday, and the reason is because Christmas is on Friday, and I normally put these episodes out on Saturday, so that would be one day too short. So I wanted my Christmas episode to actually come out before Christmas. Uh, so, yeah, if everything goes right, you should be seeing this on Wednesday. Haha. -ha. So, uh, let's see. Uh, the reason I'm recording today is because there was an update last, well, not last night, tonight. There was an update tonight, a couple hours ago, which added all the uh, festive Christmas stuff, I guess. Well, it didn't really add the festive Christmas stuff, because you may notice, or you may not have noticed, there is no uh, naughty or nice crate this year, which I find strange. I mean, every year for the past, what? Four, three, four years, there's been a naughty and nice crate with uh, Christmas items and festive weapons and stuff like that. But they did it slightly different this year in the form of that festive gift that I got last week from opening all those uh, cases and stuff. So I will be opening up some of those once I die. Uh, should be soon. <laughs> Surprised I haven't died yet. But yeah, uh, those are basically the new festive thing. And unlike last year and the year before and the year before that, you don't just open it up and get a festive weapon or whatever. You open it up and you get a festivizer, which you can use on uh, all those, uh, uh, let's see, the gunmetal update and the tough break update case weapons. Basically, any of the weapons you got out of the gunmetal cases the tough break cases you can use this festivizer on and it turns them into festive versions of them apparently I'm guessing I have not used them yet I hell I haven't even opened one yet I'll do that once I die but yeah basically that is the new festive weapon and damn it okay let's go <laughs> oh oh I do not have the air blast I normally do with this weapon but yeah let's open one of these up and see exactly what it is as you can see, the festive, uh, strange fest, the, the tough break festive kit. When you open it up, you get the, whatever the hell this thing is. So let's see what it is we get out of this. Uh, gunmetal and all, yeah, you can use it on any of the uh, gunmetal set weapons. And it basically turns them into a festivizer. Uh, turns them into a festive. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's understandable. I mean, they're trying to push the whole uh, cases and stuff to get them to be opened and get more keys to be sold and like that. I can understand, but I was kind of hoping for like a festive machina 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 or machina. Is, it, is I was hoping for some strange weapons instead of just strange skins. Uh, not strange festive skins because I haven't really been using the the. Uh, gunmetal case skins or the other one, the uh, tough break skins. Well, I haven't really gotten many of the tough break skins, but it, but still. That is the new festive weapons. Those are the new festive items. And you get those uh, festive gifts from opening gunmetal case, the tough break cases. Weapon cases, I think. I don't know if... The, I, did, did I actually get one out of the uh, uh, cosmetic case? I don't remember. I know I got got the got the other ones out of the uh, uh, weapon case, but I don't remember if I got one out of the cosmetic case or not. No. Well, anyway, uh, let's see what else is going on. Uh, well, let's see. Well, the Steam sale just happened today. It just started today. Today's Tuesday, and while I'm playing, I may as well talk about all the other stuff that's going on. So the Steam sale just started, and for those of you who haven't been paying attention, you may or may not have noticed the lack of uh, flash sales or daily deals like they've had every year for uh, the past, well, as long as I've been on here on Steam, 
they're apparently not doing flash sales this year. They're not doing daily deals, and uh, yeah, kind of disappointing. I mean, normally you wait for those daily deals and those da those flash sales to really get a good deal, to get the best price on a particular game you're looking for. But unfortunately, there is nothing like that this year, which uh, I don't know if it's just being delayed or they're not going to do it at all, but there's nothing up on the uh, main page about it. So, yeah, a bit disappointing, a bit sad. Well... And also, no new game or anything like they had during the summer sale. Uh, so, yeah. Also a bit disappointing. And no other tie-ins or anything like that. So, yeah. Uh, not too bad. Still, it is the winter sale. There's still massive deals, massive cuts on all the stuff that's on sale. So, yeah. Still nice. So, what else? Uh, let's see. Oh, some stuff I forgot to talk about last week was they added a new item that you can actually craft... The uh, Strange Count Transfer item, I don't remember the exact name of it, but basically it allows you to craft an item, and you can use this item. I think you ta it takes two strange parts you use to craft it, and you can use it to transfer kill counts from one strange weapon onto another one. So if you've got like a Hale's own like, back burner or something, you can transfer those kills onto another weapon. I don't know if it's a class-specific transfer or specific type. You can transfer it from one flamethrower-type weapon to another flamethrower-type weapon, or if it's just across the board. Like, you can transfer flamethrower kills to a minigun or something. I don't know. I haven't tried it out. But that could be interesting. Uh, also a bit cheap, since, well, you spend a lot of time getting kills on one weapon and then just transfer it onto a new weapon you just got and that don't really earn all those kills on that weapon. I mean, it's a lot easier to get kills on some weapons than it is on others, so, yeah. Uh, having a Hale's own melee weapon is uh, kind of rare. Having that many kills on a melee weapon can be a bit rare. Well, unless you're a spy, and then in which case it's not as rare. But still, being able to transfer kills is fairly nice. Uh, I can see the benefit of it. I mean, you get a brand new weapon you want to keep using, or you get a uh, different version of it. Or you get a wep new weapon that has, like, a bunch of parts already on it, and you just want to replace an existing weapon you already have that doesn't have the parts. So, yeah, I can see how that could be useful, but a bit pointless at the same time. So, yeah, not too bad. Something else that was changed last week that I forgot to mention was... The addition of the ability to remove gifted from tags on items. Now, on the surface, this isn't such a big deal. I mean, they've had, like, crafting names removal for a long time now. For years, you've been able to remove crafted by tags from weapons and hats and stuff like that. You can just go, go into your inventory, click on it, and remove and restore, or whatever it's called the item and it will completely remove the crafted by tag the crafted by name off the item itself now the difference is the gifted by tag has always been kind of a stigma on items especially on unusuals so that was one of the main reasons they hesitated or never did add the ability to remove the gifted by tags from weapons and items and stuff like that. I mean, they had the ability to do it a long time ago. They, they could have done it at the same time they removed the, the added the removed gifted by tag. But they always avoided doing it, I think. Mainly because there was always a stigma, especially with unusual hats and stuff like that, where people did not want gifted by unusuals. If, they, if it had a gifted by tag on it, it immediately cut its value in half. Why? I don't know. It's just one of those weird quirks of the market and the trading community that was going on. But if a hat, an unusual hat, was gifted, its value dropped dramatically. It didn't really matter the fact that it was exactly the same hat. It didn't have any visual differences. It, it still had the same effect, still had the same look. It just had a gifted buy tag on it. But now that you can remove those tags, 
that is going to completely change the way unusuals are traded because especially on the steam community market because you can't actually check to see if it's gifted and much the same way the whole uh, duped thing goes I'm not sure if you're actually going to be able to see you're pr you might actually still be able to see if a hat's been gifted the same way you can see if it's been duped or something like that on the trade websites and like that so I don't know is this going to actually change the dynamic of the whole gifted not gifted unusual trading market or not is are you still going to be able to tell if something's been gifted on those trading websites and inventory websites from its history uh, I don't know I haven't actually checked in on that so who knows it could be good could be bad but the whole addition of being able to remove those tags I don't know how exactly it's going to affect it so uh, let's see uh, well that's pretty much it for the update so let's uh, let's talk about my channel for a second while I still have a little bit of time left uh, let's see what's going on on my channel well like I said today uh, should be Wednesday if I get this up today uh, by tomorrow so the episode of don't starve that was supposed to come out tomorrow should, I'll just move that to Saturday. Uh, I forgot to mention it last week. I started a let's. I I was so busy playing and getting having fun on the map. I didn't really have a chance to talk about my channel. So this week I'll do this. Uh, last week I started a new let's play of Don't Starved Shipwreck, the brand new uh, DLC, early access DLC that came out earlier this month. Started a brand new let's play of it on Wilson, and it, the first episode came out last week. Uh, second episode was, I think, Sunday. Third episode should have been out today, which is Wednesday, but I'll move that to Saturday. So eh, I'll just switch the episodes around. So if you missed that, go check it out. Or if you liked my previous Don't Starve or Terraria videos, it's kind of in the same vein of me surviving and trying not to die horribly as I uh, make my way around on islands on a little boat and stuff like that. So if you missed that last week go check it out should new episode should be out on saturday uh terraria more terraria coming this week uh last week let's see what did i do last week uh or actually what did i do yesterday i should be saying yesterday i uh i went and got a few more npcs last week i made some new armor with the uh spider stuff i've made spider armor which gave me a whole bunch of new minions and stuff I can summon and use to fight for me, which is awesome. Uh, and that's about it. So, yeah. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess I'll just turn this in. Yeah. No, not, too, not too bad. For a scattered gun, not too bad. Okay, well, that's not too bad, I guess. So, uh, also more Fallout. Eh, blah, if you missed it, go check it out. Uh, I'm up to what, episode 100, so yeah. I think that's about it for me. I'm going to take a break and go do something else, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. and this has been Team Fortress 2 Christmas episode. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.